Hi everyone, this is just going to be a quick how-to video in which I'll demonstrate how to upload work to Canvas. Canvas and Turnitin are two different but related systems that we'll be using in the online course shell throughout this summer semester. I'll be talking about how to use Turnitin a little bit later in a separate video. Just briefly for now, Turnitin we'll be using to collect uh, revised drafts, final drafts of projects, uh, in this video, like I said, I'll be talking about Canvas, which we'll be using to collect uh, working drafts or rough drafts of projects. So in order to demonstrate this, I'm going to start by clicking in the navigation bar over in the mod to the modules page here. I'm going to be scrolling down a little bit to week three, uh, and we'll be looking at the project two working draft, which is the first project that you'll use Canvas to submit. So once we get to week three and it's time to submit your project to working draft, you'll start by clicking on this link here. Then you can see here this menu comes up. Um, it gives you some basic information about the project, the deadline, the number of points that it's worth, how to submit this project, and then the types of files that are allowed. You can see the Project 2 working draft, like the Project 3 and Project 4 working drafts later, are worth 25 points. You'll be submitting them in the form of a file upload, and you need to make sure that your work is in either a DOC, DOCX, those are both Microsoft Word files, or a PDF file format. Once you're ready to submit your working draft, you'll begin this process by clicking on this big blue button that says Submit Assignment. That will bring up this menu here. You can see the file upload title. Uh, from here, I think the procedure is relatively straightforward. Uh, you just click the Choose File button, You'll select whatever file uh, is the correct file for this project. So you'll navigate to whatever menu you have here. <clears throat> then you'll select open to uh, select that file. I'll just pick a file uh, at random here. Um, let's see, all right, I'll just pick one of my CVs. All right, there we go. Uh, and then one of the things that I will ask you to do when you do submit working drafts is to use this comment feature here. In specific, what I'd like you to do in this comment box is to upload your draft with two to three specific questions that you have for me about the working draft or the rough draft of the project. So this might be things about, for example, whether your use of MLA formatting is correct, whether your thesis statement makes sense, whether the organization of the draft is clear, whatever. Right. My interest is in knowing what your concerns are about the draft so that I can give you some feedback about those concerns as you move from the working draft into the final revised draft. So you'll type those questions into this box here. Is my formatting correct? Right, etc. And I'll reuse those questions to format my responses to your working drafts. Once you've added whatever questions you have, once your file is attached to this box, you'll hit this, this blue button again that says Submit Assignment. It'll take a second to process it to make sure it gets uploaded. And then if your work has been correctly uploaded, you can see over here, you'll get a little confirmation, Submission turned in with the time and date of submission. Uh, it'll also show you what comments you added down here. And then your work will appear on my end, the instructor end, to show that it's been submitted correctly and that you've submitted your comments for me to respond to. So that's how you submit work to Canvas. Uh, as always, if you're not clear about this procedure, you're always welcome to send me an email or a message through Canvas with uh, some requests for clarification. You can also go to the discussion link here and use the course Q&A discussion board to post any questions about how to do certain things in Canvas if you have any questions. Okay, thanks for listening. I'll be back again soon with some more how-to videos demonstrating how to make use of various Canvas functions for this online course.